always Mama Four, real estate investor and entrepreneur. And today is a fun video, so let's get right into it. I'm excited about that. Finally made a super host, um, made it as a super host, and I'm just gonna go over the requirements to become a super host, and now the perks that I get now that I'm a super host. So, so they actually um, do an assessment every three months. So it's four times a year they do an assessment, and the last assessment period was January 1st. So I knew I had hit everything, but I was just waiting for them to make it official and I got that email and I was really excited about that so the criteria for your overall rating needs to be 4.8 I'm at a 4.9 um, the criteria for your response rate needs to be at least 90% I'm at 100% I think I'm not sure how many minutes it is let me see it says to meet this criteria you need to have responded to 90% of new messages within 24 hours so these new messages included all first-time guests so yeah I literally respond to people within minutes. If I respond to you an hour later, I didn't see the phone because I'm responding to you right away because um, that's how you get your bread. And then the next criteria is to have at least 10 completed stays or 100 nights over three plus days. So basically, if you have one person there for 30 days, that's what, it, that's what they mean by um, at least 100 nights or 10 individual completed states. And of course, it's easier to have um, the 10 states. So at first, I had like a two night minimum. So if you're um, just listing your property and the next assessment period is like really close, I think the best thing for you to do is don't put any minimum on there, make it no minimum. So if people wanna come in for one night, they'll do that because that'll just get you closer to the 10 night states. I wish I would have knew that when I listed my property in September because the next assessment was October 1st. So I literally had three weeks. And if I would have had no minimums, I'm pretty sure I probably would have hit it because I was at seven stays when um, October 1st came around. So three stays, I'm pretty sure I would have had three one nighters. So I lost that on that and I had to wait to the next, which is January. And then the criteria for a cancellation rate is less than 1%. I have a zero percent cancellation rate i haven't canceled on anyone and i don't plan on doing that so i think that's like really really looked down upon that's why like they're tolerate they only tolerate one percent because these people they book with you they book flights they come in. i've had people come from china south africa so this is not just a domestic situation this is international people are coming from all over the place so I have people come from all the way. So imagine, and these people are booking out, you know, way out, especially the international bookers. So imagine, you know, you booking your flight, thinking you're about to come here and someone like cancels your day. Now you have nowhere to go. Like, I feel like that's filed. So yeah, they have like a zero tolerance rate for that. That's why it's only at 1%. So I hit all of that. And now that I'm a super host, here are some of the perks. So I get an Airbnb coupon each time you maintain your super host status. For a whole year, you get a $100 Airbnb coupon. You're promoted to guests, so you'll be featured to guests in promotional emails. That's really cool. Um, so I guess if anyone's looking like to come around this area, they'll email them and put my property as a nice little highlight. That's really cool. Um, you're easy to find in search, so guests can filter their searches for super hosts, which is really cool. Because if anyone is looking to just stay with super hosts, because they want to make sure they have a good stay, um, before my property wasn't going to come up, and now it is. I got a super host badge on my property now, so now when you go to my property, I have a like symbol super host badge. A trusted symbol of great hospitality will show up on your profile and listing pages. Um, extra referral bonus. It says you get an additional twenty percent bonus on top of the standard host referral bonus oh, i didn't even know that early access to new features you can pilot new programs and test features before they launch to everyone that's really cool and then the last one is priority support you get priority assistance when you contact your airbnb support so those are their perks of becoming 
So now the next assessment, period. What I, what was really, um, that I was like lower before was my accept, accept the reservations. Like they want you to be at least 88% and I was like not hitting that. So that's something that I needed to work on even though I had made all that plan out because I was, I told you I was um, denying more people than I was actually hosting because I'm not like a fuckery. This is the BS. Kids trying to book my place. I'm saying a lot of no to that, but now I'm at 94%. So I'm excited. I need to post. So if you guys have any questions, this is pretty straightforward. Um, I'm excited, and you have to maintain it because I think the next one is going to be pre April 1st. Like it gets everything done by April 1st, and then the next, next assessment period. So I have to maintain this. And I see, like, the more reviews I have, um, it's, it's pretty much good. Like, if you ever could get, like, a bad review, you got to make sure you get a lot of good reviews to outweigh the bad reviews. So, out of the 25 reviews that I have, most of them are four stars. And yep, I'm a super host now. And then I want to go over some of the reviews. Let's talk about some nice things. So I want to go over some of the reviews. It's five o'clock, so it's not going to be looking at my kids. But um, this is the latest review. This is a gentleman that I actually just checked out. Julio said, first off, great parking. Parking is such a plus for me. Second, the softest towels in the world. Ha! Communication was a 10. We loved our stay. Not much else to say. So thank you so much, Julio. It's really sweet. Elena was here December. Um, and she said, Miriam's place truly is a hidden gem. It's furnished beautifully and the beds are a dream to sleep on. She even had a gorgeous table setting already if we wanted to make a meal. Plenty of free street parking and thoughtful touches like cake cups for the morning and small tube of toothpaste in the bathroom. My only complaints, and they have nothing to do with Miriam, is the noise from the traffic in the master bedroom. You're right by the street so it can get a bit a tad loud again nothing at all to be done about that but just wanted to let other guests know it also got quite hot in the upstairs bedrooms despite having turning down the thermostat Miriam checked on us to see if we needed anything and she was very easy to communicate with easily one of my best Airbnb stays ever thank you Elena Stephanie said Miriam is a great host she communicated every step of the way and made sure our stay was a smooth and stress free um, the space is beautiful and relaxing. I would stay here again. Fabiana said, beautiful home, very clean. My family really enjoyed their stay and everything was easy to access. I'd give this Airbnb, Airbnb more. Um, Liliana said, Miriam is a great host with lots of very nice details. The kitchen is very well equipped and the bedrooms are very comfortable. Our family had a great holiday stay. Michelle said, Miriam has invested quite a bit of energy in making this home beautiful and inviting. I love old houses and really enjoy the tall ceilings and trim around the doors. All the basics needed to make meals were provided and having a curate coffee maker and coffee pods available was great. I think my kids ate all the chocolate in the big dish she provided. This house is in a neighborhood that is improving and other nearby houses range from new construction, newly renovated to well-worn to empty slash Dilapidated. Nevertheless, this area was quiet and pleasant, and I felt safe. Hi. Brianna is the GOAT. She said, I can't express in words how much I enjoy my stay at the Hidden Gem. So clean, so beautiful, and is the perfect blend of modern and cozy. Miriam was incredible with communication. I felt very taken care of. I needed a quiet getaway, and my stay here delivered me all measure. Thank you, Brianna. So, Brianna is actually like a local guest because I really don't be messing with the local guests. But she lived not too far away and she wanted to just you know get away by herself and she had a cat so that's why i told you guys like once you accept pets it's gonna open the floodgates when i tell you when she, she was there for a week when she left there was no trace of animals no you couldn't smell anything no pets and stuff like that so i don't regret um allowing pets and she was cool people like she was so sweet and that's one thing about me like 
I'm never one to go to cheap route. Cheap route. Um, I'm all about luxury and quality. So when Julio said, "Oh, softest towels in the world," like yeah, like you would never catch one of them two dollar towels at my property. Like um, I was getting like the twelve dollar towels, the fifteen dollar towels at like Target. But then um, now I get my towels from Costco. So they're I think eight bucks. They're like the big ones, like the big towels. They're huge. And I think they're only $7.99. I mean, every time I go up in there and I need towels, I get like 10 at a time. And I just keep them stocked because I get white towels. I want it to be like a luxury hotel kind of experience. So my linens are white, my towels are white. I have black makeup towels for the ladies. Um, and another thing is I keep out the treats. So before I was doing the most, I mean, I still put water bottles in the refrigerator. I don't put water bottles on the towels anymore. So I used to put like water bottles on top of the towels that we leave on the bed and also put water bottles in the refrigerator and some soda. Um, I'm not doing all that no more. So I have a Brita thing, water thing. No one uses it, but it's filled up, it's in the fridge. I think it's the same water that was in here since I first listed the property in September. No one's really touching that. And I don't mind, I, I mean, I don't blame them. We're in the middle of a whole pandemic. You don't know who touched it, so whatever. Um, but I noticed like no one really touched that since I put that there. So I put water bottles in the fridge. I get them in bulk at Costco. Um, and then I have my little toothpaste, individual toothpaste that I get in bulk on Amazon. Um, they come out to like less than 50 cent per toothpaste. I get like a big thing, I don't know how much it costs. But I have those in the bathroom and then I have these individual toothbrush. I bought like a box of them from Amazon. I don't think I'm probably gonna need to reuse those for a while because everyone's not using the stuff that you have there like some people have their own toothpaste some people have their own toothbrush so like you leave and people left it there so but they appreciate it and then i also have you know soap in the bathroom body wash and stuff like that and then i have i usually put like chocolate some people put wine in their Airbnbs, like free wine i'm muslim i don't drink so i'm not really about to be providing one with nobody's wine but i will have nice little snacks here for the kids so you'll get like chocolate um, and stuff like that so yeah I do recommend um, putting something nice there because even if they don't use it they will appreciate it and in the beginning I had to pull teeth to get these reviews like I usually would send them a message like hey um, and this is how my system goes I send you the code to the property the day before. If I get, I'll send it the day of, like the morning of. I usually remember like 6 a.m. Like, oh, I have so much evidence today. Send you the code. Um, Check-ins at 4. Your code is activated 3.30. I think that's a good for working because people used to come in like at 3.50. The code was not activated. So now 3.30 is a good thing. And then you check out is at 10 a.m. Code is deactivated at 10, 10 a.m. So after 10, 10, you have no access to the property. And then once I see that they checked in, because the bank sends me a notification, so I see them, I make sure they say who they say they are. They check in, like I give them like two, three hours and I message them like, hey, did you have a smooth check-in? How are the accommodations? Word for word, this is what I'm saying. Um, let me know if you need anything. And they usually respond, oh, it's great. Your place is beautiful. Thank you so much for the chocolate or they'll say something like that. And then, the next day, I'll like check in like, hey, did you have a nice nice sleep? How's everything going? I hope you're having a five star stay. And then if it's two nights, I usually just send them a message, like a checkout message um, inbox. Let me look at my last guest that I left. Oh shit, someone's requesting to stay on my property. What's she trying to come in? Oh, I gotta go, y'all. She's trying to come in today. The 10th. I gotta get off this. Hold on, I can message her here. Hold on. Checkout is at 10 a.m. tomorrow. If you could please follow these checkout instructions, I would appreciate it. Put all used towels on the floor. Check all drawers and closets for personal items. Please turn off all lights. Turn off all air conditioners. I should remove that because I ain't gonna put the AC on in January. Take all perishables out of the refrigerator. Load dishes in the dishwasher. We will start it when we arrive to clean. Thank you so much and let me know if you need anything at all. Looking forward to giving you a five star review. And usually after they check out, I'd be like, or sometimes like when I send this message, I'd be like, as you know, I'm a new host. 
so i really would appreciate a five star review and i'll, I'll do the same for you but i don't even do that anymore because she's a super host and i don't even need to ask them for the reviews anymore they just give them to me honest reviews so it's been working out those are the tips leave give these people free stuff people love free stuff give them quality towels ain't no one got time for those little two dollar two dollar towels that feel like a napkin give them quality put quality stuff in your unit so from the time you see my pictures you already know it's nothing but quality i have the professional pictures and i have nice things in there and everything is new and i check on you that's like really important and it's just one property now so it's easy for me to do it once we get to i'm sorry once we get to three and more i'm gonna get a co-host but right now i can handle it so i'm sorry my energy is not really up in this video every day gets better but thank you so much for watching your girl is back i'm gonna be dropping videos i'm not gonna be mia yes it's a new year so we have goals to get accomplished and as you guys i'm not even monetized yet y'all i still didn't hit the requirement so let's watch this video let's share it let's subscribe to the channel Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on IG. I'll see you in the next video. Deuces. Bye.